Hello, and welcome to TechWatch, the EdTech video news program produced by eSchool News. I'm Laura Devaney. At the Texas Computer Education Association's annual conference in February, former NASA astronaut Sally Ride, America's first woman in space, discussed the importance of science education and what can be done to improve it. eSchool News managing editor Dennis Pierce has the story. Science education is facing a crisis in the United States. As science and technology become increasingly important in our society, students aren't graduating with the science literacy they need to keep pace in such a world. At the 2008 Texas Computer Education Association conference in Austin, former NASA astronaut Sally Ride discussed the importance of science education and what schools can do to address this crisis. The uh, well-paying jobs of the future are going to increasingly require background and skills in science and technology and maybe even uh, even more important just to be um, well-informed scientifically literate citizens is in is becoming increasingly important the kids growing up today are going to be faced with a whole variety of issues that require a background in science just to understand and a background in technology just to find out about just to learn about the problems actually start before high school, Dr. Ride said. In um, elementary school, uh, kids are really interested in science. All you have to do is walk into a classroom and you can see that. But there have been studies, national studies, over the last 20, 25 years that have shown uh, that fourth graders really do like science. They ask a question, do you like science? And 68% of fourth grade boys say they like science. 66% of fourth grade girls say they like science. So in fourth grade, fully two-thirds of the kids still like science. And by the way, it's as many girls as boys. And then starting in fifth, sixth, seventh grade, depending on, uh, depending on the student, depending on the situation, we start to lose both boys and girls from science, math, and technology. They start to drift towards other subjects. And right at that stage, we start to lose more, gir more girls than boys. And it's not for reasons of aptitude. It's not for reasons of interest. It's just that it's, uh, our society doesn't make it cool um, to study math and science anymore. Uh, they want to do things that they think their friends expect them to do. They want to do things that uh, are seen as cool. It may not be cool for an 11-year-old girl to say she wants to be an electrical engineer, for example. So it's right about that stage that we start to lose them. Dr. Ride, who is the first American woman in space, has founded a company called Sally Ride Science that aims to help solve these problems. I think the good news is that we don't have to convert any of these kids to math and science. They love it in fourth grade. So we just need to uh, fuel that enthusiasm that they've got, sustain it, give them opportunities, give them programs, give them materials that keep them uh, involved in science and remind them that science is as cool as they thought it was in fourth grade. So Sally Ride Science creates um, uh, supplementary science materials for the classroom that are engaging, uh, entertaining, high quality science, but that also offer students, the boys and the girls, role models of real living, breathing scientists who look like normal people with a diverse set of faces so that a girl growing up can see a picture of a woman who used to be just like her, who is now a rocket scientist or an environmental engineer. And it's really important to give kids that message that normal people grow up to be scientists and that science uh, attacks problems that are important for us to solve, that science is relevant to their world, and that, by the way, uh, scientists, science is collaborative, it's creative, uh, it's a lot of fun. Scientists don't work all by themselves in labs with no windows and no doors anymore. Uh, they work very collaboratively, and it's a very creative subject. Sally Ride Science has introduced two new curriculum resources that connect the study of science with solving real-world problems. Sally Ride Science just released two um, new classroom sets, one on climate change and one on Earth's precious resources, which we, uh, which we nickname Living Green. And the reason uh, is that we're hearing the demand from kids to learn about these subjects. They believe that they can have an impact and they want to have an impact on their world. They want to be part of the solution 
to these problems. And there's very little information, good science information, about these topics that's available right now in textbooks and in other print materials. So we were um, uh, motivated to put out um, good science-based information on these topics and to create online resources that teachers would have access to that would help them incorporate this into their classroom and direct them to places online where they can get additional resources. In fact, Dr. Ride believes the threat of global climate change just might be this generation's version of Sputnik. I hear people all the time talking about the impact that Sputnik had on science and math education in this country. Um, I was young at the time, but I am um, one of the benefactors of the country's emphasis on science and math education in the, in the 60s. Today, um, we've been looking for something that will galvanize the country and galvanize this generation of kids around science and technology, science and engineering, and make it cool again for them to go into science and engineering, just like the space program made it cool for kids to go into science and engineering in the 60s. And I believe that that challenge is uh, global climate change. You see the kids' desire to have an impact. You see their interest in the subject. And that is a challenge that is going to require um, an enormous focus on science and math education and an enormous influx of creative thinking among scientists and engineers to help us solve the problem. And I, I believe that uh, the response to that challenge may be the same as the response to Sputnik. ESN TV, your number one source for video news and information from North America's leading EdTech publications, from the world's foremost EdTech website, the eSchool News Network, America's EdTech Authority. Watch ESN TV. Encounter the field's most fascinating personalities, the innovators who are turning the old school into the e-school. Watch ESN TV. Meet notable educators, advocates, and leaders. Watch ESN TV. Get real-time coverage of EdTech's most important gatherings. Stay up to the minute. Get the EdTech news and information you need to succeed. Watch eSchool News TV.